well, Tuesday's meeting of the foreign ministers of Ukraine, Russia, France and Germany in Paris was not all about jokes because the ministers did assess the progress on the Minsk ceasefire deal for Ukraine and some more serious statements were made. RT's Peter Oliver uh, is in Paris with the details for us. Um, Peter, you were following what was said. Did they meet or uh, reach any conclusions? Hello. Mm -hmm. Well, the main conclusion made was that the Minsk agreement must be adhered to. Um, we heard from uh, Sergei Lavrov, the Russian foreign minister, saying that all of the foreign ministers that were gathered here in Paris for this latest Normandy 4 meeting um, had all been in agreement that Minsk was the only way forward for a political and a peaceful solution. He also said that when it came to uh, the contact group, the next meeting of the contact group, they would be discussing the establishment of a demilitarized militarized zone around the town of Shirokina. Um, he also said that uh, there needed to be more dialogue, there needed to be real dialogue between Kiev and the self-proclaimed republics of Luhansk and Donetsk. But in terms of the breaches of the ceasefire, um, Sergei Lavrov didn't go as far as to name names, but did say that there were um, entities out there that wanted to try and push a military solution to the conflict. During today's meeting, we all realized the dangers of actions taken by certain forces who want to use a military solution. So when it came to the ongoing conflict in the east of Ukraine, all of the foreign ministers in unison saying that Minsk was the only way forward and that the ceasefire agreed in, uh, in Belarus must be adhered to. Moving away from the Ukrainian issue, the uh, Russian foreign minister also said that, well, we talked about Syria. Uh, he said that uh, when it came to Syria, more needed to be done to stop the recruitment of foreign fighters um, and that a, an, a peaceful dialogue was the only way to a solution in the crisis in that country. So that's basically all coming out of here in Paris after that meeting of the four foreign ministers, the foreign ministers of Russia, Ukraine, uh, France and Germany. Yeah. Okay, thanks for that update, Peter. That was uh, Peter Oliver live there from Paris. Thank you.